Welcome back, Family of Light. Singles, this is your reading. This is for the fire signs. Aries, Libra, and Sagittarius. Welcome if you are new here. Welcome back if you are a returner. I appreciate your time in being here. Now, if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up so it can get passed around to other fire signs that need to hear this. Now we're gonna start off with the Aries. So the Ten of Cups has come out for you. You're obviously looking for the ultimate expression of love, which is the Ten of Cups. Happy home, happy life, contentment. For the Leos, you've got the Hermit card. So you've been kind of going within, trying to figure out what your next move is going to be, is what I'm hearing. Sagis, you've got the Ten of Swords here. So you've gone through something, you know, a death has occurred, but of course with the death is a new rebirth. With the Aries, we have got the World card. So you're definitely manifesting what you're looking for here. I feel like there's a prospect for you that you're very excited about. I heard from the guides that you're saying this could be the one if you've got someone in mind. Now the Hermit card with Leo's comes the Two of Swords. Either you have a choice between two people or your heart is blocked. And you're thinking about this by going into the Hermit and seeing what you need to do to free up yourself. Now with Sagis, you've got the Queen of Wands here. You know, and that is, you know, that fiery, passionate queen. You're wanting to turn things around. I feel like you are willing to, what I hear is put in the work. You're willing to put in the work that is necessary, which is good. All right, Aries, what is your next card here? Got the Four of Swords. You're taking a rest. I feel like you're contemplating also about like, okay, you know, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to being able to vibrate on that level to where I can attract in the person who is going to share with me the Ten of Cups and the world, which is great which is very, very good. All right, Leos, what do we got going on for you here? Got the King of Cups. You know, and in this, this after tarot, see how he's just letting the cup of love pour out? You need to unblock your heart. Whatever has sent you into this hermit mode. You know, have this despondency towards love. You need to think about that. You need to see if that's how you want to spend the rest of your life. Or do you want to open yourself up to new possibilities? Now with the Sagis, there's a new beginning here. Looks like all of you are starting anew. And it's definitely interesting for me as a reader to do, you know, the element signs together because I definitely see a correlation between, you know, what's going on here. For the Aries is the strength card. So you're going to have to be patient. You're going to have to have strength in building what you choose here. You know, in Aries, they've got the willpower and the fire behind them to create what they want. So I feel like you're being very, very optimistic. Leos. You might have a love offer coming here or a solid grounded offer from a Knight of Pentacles. And the Knight of Pentacles is very slow moving. I feel like, you know, you might be 
coming out of this despondency and see that there's someone there. It's kind of like you didn't know that there was so someone else who had attraction for you. Because here with this particular two of swords is two men fighting over a woman. And there's two people here. So this could not only mean, you know, you going, you being despondent, but it also could mean there's two people that you need to go within and choose. But I kind of feel like you're not real happy with the choices. You're like, yeah, are these the choices? Okay. You know, with the Saggies here, with this death card, staying within your, your fire passion, starting anew, that there's new love coming in with this Six of Cups. There's new possibilities. So I would keep your eye out, Saggies. Be out there. Be on the dating apps. Because someone, I feel like someone's coming through. You're going through this death, death process. Here's the new beginning. And there's someone who definitely wants to come through for you. I'm, what I'm hearing is it's time. Very nice. All right, Aries, what's next? You've got the Four of Pentacles. And when I'm quiet, I'm listening to the guides. You might have also experienced some kind of a financial situation that put you on the defensive. Made you feel like, oh, maybe I just need to keep hold of what I got. So with the Leos here is the Two of Pentacles. <laughs> you might even, Leos, you might be, be juggling someone. You know, and that's not going to be all of you, for all of you, but, you know, because for the Leos, there's multiple storylines going on here. You know, you've got these two people shown here fighting, and then you're trying to juggle. So you might be trying to juggle two people that you're dating. What are you doing? Mm. <laughs> Leave a comment down below on how this is resonating with you because I'm nosy as I'll get out and I, I love to hear the stories. And if any of this resonates with you and you like these videos and want to see more of them, make sure you give it a thumbs up so it can go to other fire signs that need to hear this. Now for the Saggies comes the King of Pentacles. So this is what I'm talking about as far as... Um, continuation here we've got pentacles 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 and the last three four the fire signs so there does seem to be especially when i get farther into the readings correlation between the fire signs now spirit tell me more about this yeah so look for someone who um is confident who's got their financial situation together knows what they want and knows how to get it very secure person. So that's really good. Very nice. All right, Aries. The Emperor. I feel like someone is, there's a possibility, Aries, of someone else coming in. Because this is your card. It's offering, you know, that king of kings energy. And that might be you offering it to someone else. But if there's nobody here for you right now, there is someone coming in. And I feel like they're going to be your match. What I just heard is they're going to challenge you in ways that you didn't think was possible. Mm. All right. So Leo's. If you're one of the, the people who have these, you're juggling these people. Here's the lover's card, excuse me. <clears throat> this is about lovers, but it's also about making a choice. So you're probably going to end up having to choose on which one is, you know, more of a match for you. Because I feel like the juggling for you might get a little too much. You know, and, and nobody's committed to anybody, so it's not like you're doing anything wrong. I just think that... You know, yeah, this is a great ego hit, you know, or boost, 
but you're like, oh, do I want to keep going with this? Because you've got someone who's a little negative, but very passionate. And then you've got someone here who wants to offer you something solid, isn't quite the king yet because they're still the knight, but they move at a slow pace. Or they're cautious. All right, Sagis, give me another one here. Nice. So you definitely have, you know, the ending, staying strong and grounded, staying in your passion, starting something new, keeping your eyes open for someone who is someone from the past, whether it's a twin flame soulmate coming back to you or someone from the past coming back. And they're in this king of pentacles energy. And here is the wish fulfillment card. So that is not too bad at all, Saji. Not too bad at all. All right, Aries, give me another one. All right. What is this death card about? Yeah, something to do with, because here is, and this is probably the only two in the deck that have these skeletons. So your financial situation, something about your finances is terminating and going to into a new direction. You know, as with, you know, death, it's a new beginning, a new cycle. So you've got a new cycle coming in here, not only for your love life, but for your finances as well. And I feel like it's something that needed to happen. Your guides, my guides are saying, you know, this is something that really did need to happen to move you up to the next level. Now, Leos, we've got the Ace of Cups. So whoever you're going to end up choosing here or if someone comes in, it's a new beginning. Leos, definitely leave a comment. I want to know if you're dating two peeps at the same time and you're like, okay, I guess I got to choose. I got to choose one cup, you know, and who knows? Maybe you decide, eh, I think I'm just going to choose me. You will be the determination of that. So with this Hierophant, I mean, with the Sagittarius is the Hierophant. So this person who you're going to meet, what I, interestingly, I just heard three to six months, you're going to meet this person and they're going to rock your world. And it's going to be exactly how this was um, shown here is what they're saying. Going through a death process, you know, gaining back your fiery, passionate queen of wands, starting something new, opening yourself up to other things. And then this person comes in from the past and offers you the solid grounded love here and wish fulfillment and a commitment. So this is very interesting. I'm enjoying it. So let's do keyword for, that is far too many, for Aries. What is the keyword that they need to kind of contemplate through this period? Idealism. Yeah, because you're starting this new beginning here. You're looking for the Ten of Cups. You've got the world here. You're resting after a battle. You've got the strength to continue on. You know, you're going to have this financial whatever it is. And then you're going to move forward into a new phase with this emperor. Are you going to be the emperor? And then, you know, remaining idealistic about what you want to manifest in your life. So to me, this is saying manifest, manifest, manifest. What do you want to bring in? All right, Leos, what is your keyword? Fulfillment. Yeah, you're definitely looking for fulfillment. And you have some choices along the way. And make sure the fulfillment is coming from you in the utmost. So fulfillment for the Leos. Sagis, what is your keyword going into this situation here? resourcefulness. So make sure that you use all of your faculties here for this new beginning, this wish fulfillment. All right, you guys, 
give us a thumbs up so it can go to other fire signs that need to hear this message. And make sure you give it a thumbs up if you'd like to see more. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you next time on Medium of the Light Tarot.